As you know from our discussions in class, we use different styles of lines to represent different um, information on a drawing. So for example, a um, visible line is a solid, continuous, relatively thick line. A hidden line is a dashed line and slightly thinner. So in CAD, we can um, set the color, the thickness, and the style of each individual entity that we draw on our drawing. However, it's not really a good idea to, to do this using these tools for each and every line. Okay. It takes time and we generally want to have a set of lines that have the same property. So all the hidden lines must look the same, all the visible lines must look the same, all the center lines must look the same. So a better way to do this is to use layers. And you'll see over here, this is the layer list on the right hand side. And when you start um, LibreCAD for the very first time, and if you haven't installed a template or anything, you get a single layer called layer zero. That is the default layer. Okay. You can add a layer either by clicking on this plus button over here, or you can right click and choose add a layer. So I'm going to create a layer and let's call it the um, visible layer. Okay. And then I'm going to leave the color as a black white. The, the black and white depends on whether the background is black, then the lines will be white, etc. The width um, will be 0 0.5 millimeters if we stick with the South African national standards. And it's a continuous line. Okay. So I can say OK. And now I have a layer called the visible layer. And if I select that layer, when I draw lines, those lines are on the visible layer. And you do need to make sure that these three settings here, the color is by layer, the thickness is by layer, and the style is by layer. That means that when we draw a line, we, it will get its um, settings from the layer that we're drawing it on, not from what we might set over here. Um, let me then, and then I'm going to add another layer, which I'm going to call my hidden layer. And this will um, have a thickness of 0.35 millimeters, and it will be a dashed line. And then I can select that layer and I can draw another line. And that's my hidden layer. A couple of advantages of using layers. One is it means that all the lines on that layer have the same consistent set of properties. And if you decide you need to change one of the properties, if you change it for the layer, it's going to update all the lines on that layer. You don't have to go around and change every single line that's, that you've drawn. The other very useful tool is that you can turn layers on and off. You can lock layers and you can hide them. So for example, if I click on this little eye icon next to the hidden layer, that layer is then hit invisible and those lines disappear. They're not gone, they're still there, they're just not visible. If I click on the eye icon again, they can come they come back. And that's quite useful when sometimes you have very complex drawings and you might have lots of construction lines. And you may put some of the construction line lines on one layer and other construction lines on a different layer. And that way you can turn off the line the lines that are not relevant to the work that you're currently doing so that they don't make your drawing too complicated. Okay, so how do we set up these layers? Well, the, the best way to set up layers is to have a template document. And we can use a template document um, in two ways. The one way is that we can create a new drawing based on a template. So this is new from templates. If we go to the file menu, new from template, it's the same thing. This icon over here is the same thing, also new from template. So if I say new from template, it's going to ask me for a template. And on my desktop, I have the standard um, EDGR drawing layers template, and I can choose that and open it. And now I'm in a brand new document, but it's based on that template. So it already has a set of layers defined a visible, a hidden, a title layer, dimensions, etc. 
This is quite a useful way of using uh, templates if you have a number of different templates that you use for different kinds of drawings. So you might have a template for an A3 drawing and a te different template for an A4 drawing, that sort of thing. But probably a more effective way if we're going to use the same template for almost all of your drawings, which is what we're going to do in this class, is to make that the default template. So what we can do is we can go to Options, Application Preferences, and to Paths. And here we have a template path. So I'm going to open this and find that same template on my desktop and say Open. And then OK that. Now, what that means is that every time, I'm just going to close down LibreCAD. I don't need to save any of these. If I start LibreCAD, it immediately starts with a brand new document based on the template that I'm going to use. Okay. And so that's how we can use layers and templates. Thanks for watching.